Hi folks, hope you're okay. I just want to uh, show you a debate. It's called Epic uh, Debate Over God's Existence. It's on Apologi Studios. I was just going to play some of that debate. Um, this is a Christian responding. There's three guys on the atheist side, three guys on the Christian. Would it be reasonable then to say that basically when you're talking about math, there's one right answer? Most of the time. Right. Just basic math. We're not talking about common core. <laughs> well, I got four semesters of calculus, so. By the way, Bruce, you look way better without your beard. I love the beard. You should have kept yeah, it. Huh? Huh? Beards are got a contradiction right there. I'm going to argue with um, Going back to my math question, does it follow then reasonably, since there are many wrong answers, one right answer, that that there is possibly no right answer to a math question? Well, that's a great question. Sorry. Well, that's a great question. Um, so uh, the, my first point that I would like to make is that... Uh, debate tonight is also about the attributes of God, which, if in question, open up all possible gods. So they are all on the table right now in the view of um, some people. So uh, to answer your, the next part of your question, um, it's, a, it's a bad analogy because mathematics represent an internal truth within itself because you assume certain axioms and then you work through certain truths from that. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily tell us things about the world. Right, but wouldn't, wouldn't you agree that either there is a God or there is no God or that there are many false gods? I mean, isn't that what we're talking about? There's, there's either no God, one God, or many gods. Right. So it doesn't, it doesn't follow then that because there are many gods that it makes more sense that there be no God. It does follow that because they all are in contradiction with each other. Uh, quick question, just just to kind of work through these. I'll do my best to go quickly, just to answer quickly. Thank you. Uh, uh, you said that we use Pascal's wager. When? When did I say it, or when did you? No, when did I? When did we use that argument? We we actually hate that argument. And it's terrible. Oh, so, so good. Uh, I, that was my impression. That you used it when appealing to. So we did, in fact, make that saving point. other people from hell, and that is an encouraging that is an encouraging way to influence. Yeah, but that's not it Pascal's actual. wager, though. That's not, in fact not Pascal's wager. Okay, you made the claim. It may just be logic just exists. Correct. Oh yes. So if we were to say, from the Christian perspective, God just exists, would you accept that as an atheist? I wouldn't accept it. Though. Yes. But uh, to say okay, that you, you asked uh, the next question. We got to go fast here, my friend. Uh, you said logic may not be absolute. Is it true? It, it's possible, yes. So it's not possible. No, it's possible. So it is not possible. Possibility is not rendered by absolutism. So possibility is rendered by absolutism. Possibility is not rendered by absolutism. It is. No, it, because just because you have contradictions. Uh, does does not mean that you have to abide. So you don't by actually story. believe your claim. Uh, no, I do believe my claim. I've, I actually, and I gave I gave you, you, uh, you plenty mentioned. Of, I gave you plenty of evidence for why that claim. You mentioned um, quickly the laws of logic may are just conventional. Yes. Okay. So if society determines different laws of logic where you can contradict yourself, that would be appropriate for you. I'm sorry, you say again. If a society determines by convention that you, it's perfectly okay and acceptable to contradict yourself, would you accept that? Uh, if logic is a convention, that's entirely possible. Yes. So it's possible for society to say uh, illogical things and contradictions, and that's acceptable by convention. It's, it would be relative to the community defining what the logical convention is. So logic can change over time. Logic can change, yes, over time. And Thank you. So you mentioned that these couple guys came along recently and came up with the uh, transcendental or presuppositional school of thought. Can I ask you if you know when the book of Proverbs was written? Uh, 2002. I, I have one question because we're almost out of time. You don't mind, Can I ask you just one question? What evidence would it take to convince you of the God who says you already have enough evidence? 
Silly, what a silly response that was. So, I want you to go and watch that debate. Uh, go on uh, Apologize Studios' epic debate over God's existence. Watch it. I've watched it a while back. It was a great debate. The the atheists actually were very good, actually. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So, go and watch it. Uh, tremendous blessing. All right. Take care. God bless.